How's it going guys? Welcome to another video. Today we are doing a lens review. Right here I have with me the Pergear 10mm f8 lens. Pergear reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to do a review for them and I initially I was going to decline because I wasn't very interested in this lens to begin with. 10 millimeters is something I personally would never shoot at because it's extremely extremely wide and I just wasn't particularly interested but I decided to give it a shot and this is because I always want to be trying something new, something that I haven't tried before and as always my reviews are going to be mainly about experience, how I felt shooting with the lens and how what you guys can kind of expect when you're using this lens. Not going to be about technical specifications and things like that. And as always, it's going to be my honest opinion about the product. So I've been using this lens with the Fujifilm X-Pro1 for a while and I've got to say it's kind of interesting. The first thing you guys will notice is the size. It's extremely, extremely small. It's basically like a body cap almost. Point is it's very small and the manual focus is like a lever on the bottom, which is actually quite convenient to use. I didn't, wasn't sure if it was going to be or not. So interesting shape, interesting design overall. Alright, let's talk about the focal length because like I said, I'm not a wide type of focal range shooter. 10 millimeters is extremely wide, almost uncomfortably wide. I wasn't entirely sure if I was going to get any good pictures out of it because I'm just not experienced with this type of, you know, focal length. So please don't expect too much from me. <laughs> After taking a few pictures with it, I could see certain situations that might interest you guys, or I think would be good to use this lens in. And the first one would be for landscapes. If you're trying to take a very, very wide picture covering the whole landscape, uh, 10 millimeters will definitely get that for you. Furthermore, I could see it being useful in situations like real estate where you're in a cramped room, but you want to capture the entire room and not just part of the room. Uh, I could see it being good for that if you're like posting on Airbnb or something like that, then a very wide focal range would be solid for you. Something else I also enjoyed as I was taking pictures with the 10 millimeter was that intersections were actually really fun to shoot. I think just lining them up at the corner walks or crosswalks gives an interesting perspective of the road, especially because you can capture pretty much everything. Alright, let's talk about the aperture because this is a fixed aperture at f8, which is kind of good and kind of bad, primarily because the good part is that you'll get pretty much most of the things in focus. It's very easy to focus with this lens and it's hard to miss focus because your range and your aperture is so big that most of the things you will get in focus, which is kind of awesome. It just allows you to point and shoot in any whatever direction and not worry too much about the the intricacies and specificities of photography. Similarly, the manual focus is not bad. Like I mentioned before, it's a lever, so it's very easy and smooth to use and focus isn't too difficult, especially on this camera. So in general, I think this lens is pretty good for daytime. I don't think it's a good low light lens, obviously, because it's fixed at f8. But for daytime, f8 is pretty good, mainly because you can block out a lot of the light coming into your camera because you're shooting at such a higher aperture as opposed to something like f2, you know? So it's a good daylight lens. You don't have to worry about it being too bright and whatnot. Now let's go ahead and talk about some of the images. Honestly, when I was taking pictures with this camera, it felt horrible straight out of camera. I would not recommend using this lens uh, if you're expecting to get great straight out of camera shots, mainly because things are weird when it comes to highlights and shadows. I feel like shadows are very, very dark unless I edit them. I think this is because of the fixed f8 aperture. I'm not very comfortable shooting with this, so settings and stuff like that are a little foreign to me, to be honest. But after I put these images into the computer and started editing them, I realized I had a lot of dynamic range and flexibility with them. So a lot of the images actually came out really, really well after post, after editing. So yeah, after editing, I was actually impressed with the capabilities of this lens. And some of the images I got were actually really, really nice. Uh, mainly because with this kind of focal length, you have a lot of advantages uh, to other lenses that have a tighter focal length. You simply can't do the same things. All right, some final thoughts. What do I think of this lens? Who do I think it would be good for? And will I be shooting with it 
more often. To be honest, I think the lens is only around like $79 or so. So I think it's good if you need these type of features that it has, mainly the very, very wide focal length and the f8 aperture. It makes it very easy to get things in focus and it get, makes things very easy to frame because pretty much everything will be in the shot. So I think if you have those specific needs that I mentioned before, you're looking for a cheap wide lens for landscapes or for like real estate or something, I think this could be a very good option for you. Similarly, it's very small and it's very light, just like a body cap. So you won't have to worry about bringing it along. You can just toss it in there and not worry about the fact that you're bringing too much gear, you know? To be honest, I don't know how often I personally will be shooting with it simply because, like I said earlier, 10 millimeters is just not my thing. It's very, very wide and I'm not really accustomed or really even like the aesthetic of it. Now, I might shoot more with it occasionally just because it's important to get outside of your comfort zone. It's important to try new things. And so that could be a very good option for you as well if you want to try something different. All right, so anyways, those are my thoughts on the Pergear 10 millimeter F8. Hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, please do like and subscribe to this channel. And yeah, I will see you guys in another video. Peace.